in this video I will derive the uh, root mean squared speed the average speed and the most probable speed of a three-dimensional uh, particle um, the shorthand notations are V sub RMS V sub AVE and V sub MP uh, we learned before uh, in a different video that the probability of finding a particle traveling in a three-dimensional space at a speed between v and v plus dvx is equal to a normalization factor times the Gaussian function of v times dvx dvy and dvz and uh, a is equal to the square root of 2m over pi kpt uh, by converting this Cartesian coordinates to the spherical polar coordinates we will get uh, Uh, something like this. Uh, again, if you need an analogy, theta is the latitude of the Earth, uh, phi is the longitude of the Earth. Uh, theta ranges from 0 to pi, and phi ranges from 0 to 2 pi. So uh, once we have uh, this uh, probability, or if we just uh, look at uh, the function in front of dv d theta d phi, its probability density. Uh, we can easily integrate uh, this uh, probability density with respect to theta and phi. So we're going to do that. In a different video, we showed that the integral of uh, sine theta d theta from 0 to pi is simply 2. The integral of d phi from 0 to 2 pi is simply 2 pi. And then we have a to the power of 3, and uh, we have v squared times the Gaussian function of phi. Well, how do we get the uh, uh, root mean squared speed? So it's very simple. What we will do is uh, we will do this. We will integrate the speed from zero to infinity. And because we are interested in the average of the squared of v, so we're gonna put v squared here, okay? And then we're gonna copy this uh, probability, probability density function, which is four pi a cubed v squared e to the power of negative half v, mv squared over kbt dv. This will give you the average of the squared of v. So how do we get this m, uh, the uh, rms speed, root mean square speed? We simply just uh, take the square root of the whole thing. Uh, I'm not going to show you the detailed derivation, but the result is square root of 3 times the square root of kbt over m. I will not do the uh, derivation for the average speed, but uh, it's going to be... Uh, over here, we just replace v squared with uh, v, and then multiply by the probability density function of v. I think in a different video, I showed you the result is square root of 8 over pi times square root of uh, kbt over m. Also in a different video, in the most probable speed video, I showed you that this, this uh, most probable speed is square root of 2 times uh, square root of kbt over m. All right, so now I'm gonna give you a more uh, concrete numerical example of hydrogen two. We're gonna do hydrogen two. We're gonna look at the uh, RMS 
average and MP most probable speed of hydrogen 2 in a three-dimensional space. So hydrogen 2. Uh, first, we need to know the mass of uh, hydrogen 2. It's actually a bit easier to do this. Without knowing the mass of a hydrogen 2 molecule, I just would like to uh, convert this uh, Kb to R by multiplying this Kb by the Avogadro constant. And on the bottom, I'm going to just multiply the mass of one H2 molecule by the Avogadro constant. And then it's a little easier to compute. Uh, I'm going to assume 298K. Uh, in the end, the unit is going to be a uh, meter per second. Uh, what about the uh, molar mass of hydrogen 2? The mass of one more hydrogen 2 is actually 0 0.002 kilogram per mole. So anyway, in the end, I think you get 1113 meter per second for just the uh, square root of kbt over m. And now we need to multiply that by square root of 3 or square root of 8 over pi or the square root of 2. Square root of 3 is 1.732. Square root of uh, pi, uh, 8 over pi is uh, uh, 1.596. And square root of 2 is uh, 1.414. So after we uh, multiply the square root of uh, kbt over m, uh, by square root of 3 or square root of 1 over 8 over pi or square root of 2, we get this. Uh, I pre-calculated those numbers uh, in an Excel sheet. Uh, the root mean square speed for a hydrogen 2 molecule in the gas phase at the room temperature is uh, 1930 meter per second. The, um, the average speed is smaller. It's smaller, it's uh, uh, 1,780 meter per second. And the most probable speed is even smaller, it's uh, 1,570 meter per second. Uh, and now I'm gonna use the uh, remaining speed, uh, space to show you the uh, distribution of V from zero to infinity. And this is probability density of V. Okay, again, yeah, this is a three-dimensional picture of a, uh, a gas particle moving in three-dimensional space. So again, this V is the square root of Vx squared plus Vy squared plus Vz squared for all three speeds in the three dimensions to be zero at the same time. The actual probability is minimized instead of maximized. And the shape of the probability density function is like this. And over here, you get the most probable speed. And somewhere here, you get the average speed. And we know that uh, the root mean uh, squared speed is always greater than the average speed, we can prove that easily, mathematically, somewhere here. Done.